वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश थर्टी फोर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द बोर्ड आर ग्लूड टूगेदर टू फॉर्म बिल्ट अप बीम इफ वुड हैज इलाउेबल शेयर स्ट्रेस थ्री मेगा पास्कल एंड ग्लू सीम एट बी कैन विद स्टैंड मैक्सिम शेयर ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव मेगा पास्कल डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिम इलाउेबल इंटरनल शेयर बी दैट कैन बी डिवेलप इन द बीम सो यू कैन सी दिस बीम दैट इज आई शेप इज कम्पोज ऑफ दिस वुड्स वन टू थ्री and four so these four beams are uh, woods are glued together at this place this place and this place so you have to find the uh, shear force that can be developed in the beam so let's start with the solution so as we know that allowable shearing stress is equal to v into q max divided by i into t so we will first find section property that is i for this beam so how we will find it so you can see that this beam is a uh, this beam is symmetrical about horizontal axis at the mid so if i take a horizontal line at the mid so this will be its neutral axis now we what we will do is that we will take the moment of inertia of this rectangular piece and then we will subtract the moment of inertia of these two hollow section so i will write it i is equal to 1 over 12 now breadth is 150 mm so 150 mm is 0.150 and total height is 50 plus 150 plus 50 which is 200 uh, 250 so 250 in meter will be equal to 0.250 cube and we will subtract minus 2 times 1 over 12 breadth is 50 you can see the breadth is 50 mm which is equal to 0.05 and height is equal to 150 mm of this portion this is 150 mm breadth is 150 and this height is 150 so 150 in meter will be equal to 0.150 whole cube so when you solve this you will get the i moment of inertia for this cross section about the neutral axis comes out to be 0.167118 into 10 raised to power 3 cubic uh, meter power 4 so this is the value of moment of inertia now we will find q max so q max about neutral axis so q max if you take either upper half portion or lower portion both are same we are taking lower portion because we have to find the Uh, we have been given that glue seam at b so we will take this half portion clear so we'll find the q max for this q max so what will be the q max so q max you know that this is equal to area a into y dash bar so what is the area so you can see you have here two portion one is this one and other is this one clear so first we will take uh, this one this is first portion and this is second portion so area a1 is 0.150 into height is 0.05 and what will be its y1 dash so y1 dash is distance from neutral axis till mid of this section so this distance is 0. 100 mm r 0.100 mm r it is 0.01 m how because this half is actually 75 mm and the half of this is 25 so this is 100 mm so 0.01 uh, sorry 0.1 m 100 mm is 0.1 meter now plus this area 
so this area you can see this is equal to this width is 0. Point, uh, this 50 millimeter which is 0 0.05 and this height is 75 millimeter so i will write in term of meter 0 0.05 multiply by 0. Point, uh, 075 and what will be its y dash so y dash is distance from neutral axis till mid of this section so 75 divided by 2 which is the uh, 75 divided by 2 which is 37.5 and 37.5 is 0 0.0375 so when you calculate it you will get q max will be equal to 0 0.890625 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter so we have this q max as well now we will find q at b because we have here blue as well so q for q b we will have area this one so this area you know that is 150 multiplied by 50 and its y dash is 0 0.1 meter so we will get q b so 0 0.1 multiplied by which is y dash to 0 0.05 height and width is 0 0.15 so when you calculate it you will get qb is equal to 0 0.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter so you have qb as well now we will check you can see that uh, shear force is uh, i will write the maximum the maximum shear stress will occur at the point on neutral axis where q is maximum and you can see thickness will be equal to 0 0.05 meter here you can see the shear stress will be maximum at the neutral axis and uh, because we have q max is this area of this shaded portion and we have thickness here is 50 millimeter which is 0 0.05 meter so what we will do is that we will take we know that we have been given that allowable sharing stress for wood and that is equal to v into q max divided by i into t so v is not known q max is 0 0.890625 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by i and i is 0 0.16718 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so this is minus 3 okay so now kindly correct it into the thickness which is 0 0.05 and that is equal to allowable sharing stress for wood which is 3 megapascal so i will write 3 megapascal 3 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to v into 0 0.890625 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 0 0.16718 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 0 0.05 so we are interested to find out the shear force so shear force is 3 into 10 to the power 6 multiplied by 0 0.16718 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 0 0.05 divided by this 0 0.890625 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you calculate you will get shear stress will be equal to 28157 newton or it will be equal to 28 point that is equal to 28.2 kilo newton if you round off it it is 28.2 kilo newton okay now what we will do is that we will also check whether we can apply this shear force because we have a uh, 
we have glue at B point as well. Clear? You can see this is the glue that can stand the shear force or not. So for that, we will also check. We have been given allowable shear stress for glue, which is also equal to V. Now it will be QB because at B we have glue I into T. So allowable shear stress for glue is 1.5 megapascal. You can check in the given data that is equal to V QB is 0 0.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by I is 0 0.16718 into 10 to the power minus 3 into thickness is 0 0.05. So when you solve this, you will get V is equal to 16719 Newton or V is equal to 16.8 kilo Newton. Now we have two V's. One is this one shear force, other is this one. So we will select, select the smallest, smallest, so V is equal to 16.8 kilo Newton that can be applied or that can be generated in the beam. Why we cannot use this? Because if we select this shear force, so you can see here uh, it becomes it becomes greater than this value. So it will fail in the blue portion. While if we select this value, so it is also satisfying this condition as well as when you put it in this formula, it will be your shear stress will be less than tau allowable for the wood. So that's why this is the answer. Now what we will do is that we will move toward uh, second problem that is problem 11-35. So I will write choose another color problem. 7-35 uh, so what we have to find that is if you look into the problem the problem all the given datas are same so the boards are glued together to form built up if wood has allowable sharing stress is 3 megapascal and glue seam at D can withstand a maximum of 1.5 megapascal determine the allowable maximum shear stress that can be developed in the beam so now you have to find the shear stress developed in the glue seam at d rest all the things will be same you will find q max u is i t now you will instant of qb you will find qd clear so qd so what we will do is that we will move toward if I draw the beam like this, this was the first joint. This is your second portion. This was your third portion, for example, and this is your beam, clear? So this is your glue at C at T. And let this is your neutral axis neutral axis so what we have to find uh, uh, qd so q at d this is your d point so qd will be equal to you can see this the center of this from the neutral axis is 0 0.1 meter we have already discussed in our this problem 7-34 this was also 0 0.1 meter and this width is this is 50 millimeter and this height is also 50 millimeter this height is also 50 millimeter so what we will do is that we will find the q dash for this shaded portion okay so q dash is equal to y dash bar into a so y dash is 0 0.1 and a dash is 0 0.05 meter into 0 0.05 meter so when you solve this you will get qd which is equal to 0 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter now 
we have to find ta allowable for wood which is equal to v into q divided by q max divided by i into t so v ta allowable this is the same section which we have solved over here so from here you will get v is 28 i will directly write here you will get v max is equal to 28.2 kilonewton that is allowable sharing shear stress due to wood now what we will do is that we will we have allowable sharing stress for glue is equal to v, u, v into q d divided by i into t so implies that glue allowable sharing stress is 1 into 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 uh, 6 is equal to v q d is 0 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by i is 0 0.16718 into 10 to the power minus 3 and thickness is again 0 0.05 so when you solve this you will get v is equal to 50.5156 newton or you can say that v is equal to 50.50 kilo newton so again you can see that this value is uh, v is equal to 50 kilo newton is greater than v max that v max so here the answer will be we will select v is equal to 28.2 kilo newton that can be applied or that can be generated developed in the beam so this was all about these two problems 7-34 and 7-35 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching